Welcome back to Fabulous with Detailing. In this video, we're gonna take a look at extra tough multi-purpose degreaser. Let's do it. So several months ago, uh, Extra Tough reached out to me and sent me their products. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and mention this now. This is the, the product they sent me the first time. As you can see, it's a dark color pink versus the bottle behind it. And they changed, the formula stayed the same, but what they did, they changed the, the color of it because when, the, when a chemical sits in the sun, it will actually start to fade and people will start thinking, oh man, it's not any good anymore because the color is not the same. Well, that's not true, it's still just as good. But what they did is they changed the color to something that won't fade nearly as easy. As you can see, it's just a very light pink and when it's actually mixed in a bottle, like five to one, you can barely even see the pink in it. Um, but it's still there and it's still gonna work just the same. Now the cool thing about Extra Tough from everything I'm reading, and this is all the paperwork that they sent with it because I, I, I work with a lot of products and it's hard to remember them all, you guys. But the dilution ratios is where it's at with this product. You can do general cleaning at 32 to one. I mean, this gallon would last forever at 32 to one. Um, for me though, I think full strength, five to one, seven to one, and 15 to one is what I'll be using when detailing cars because that's what I'm gonna use it the most for, but you can use it inside your home, outside your home, in your car, outside your car. At work, anywhere you want to use it, you can use this multi-purpose degreaser and it will strip waxes or sealants, um, not coatings or anything like that. So just remember, but it is safe to use on paint and it says if it dries on paint, just get it wet and it will reactivate and come off. So that is very cool to know right there. But it's great for carpets inside cars, you know, bug removal, uh, cleaning your tires, cleaning your wheels, brake dust. I mean, you name it, this stuff, this stuff supposedly can do it. Um, wax one to one is wax and sealant removal. Uh, two to one is tough grime and wax removal. Three to one tough grime. Heavier cleaning is at five to one. Uh, tough dried on bugs, engine, tires, it, it cleans engine oil, transmission oil. Um, as a mechanic, I wish I could take it to work and make a video like when I'm cleaning a valve cover or something like that using this, but I'm not allowed to film at work and I understand that because I'm not the owner of the business. I, 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 I am an employee and I am on their time and their money and I'm not gonna take my camera to work and make a video while I'm doing it. So I, I can't show that, I wish I could. Um, 15 to one is upholstery stains, uh, synthetic carpet and pre-wash, and then 20 to one is general cleaning, 32 to one is also general cleaning. Now one thing you do have to remember if you are using hard water, that it will actually af uh, affect the, the use of extra tough. It may not make it as effective. So you want to boost your dilution ratio, put more extra tough in than you actually think you need if you're using hard water. I do have soft water at this house, so I don't have to worry about that at all. Let's test this on a few different things that we can test it on and uh, we'll just see what this stuff's all about. Okay guys, so we're in April's Jeep and something got spilled back here. I don't know if it's a pop or what. We're going to use the 15 to one ratio on it and we're just going to use a towel. I just want to see what happens with just a towel. Just kind of, you know, dabbing it up. We're, we are gonna soak it pretty good. You're gonna let it penetrate for just a minute. Try to break all that down. Oh man. <laughs> just from a little bit of rubbing. Now you can have a brush. I don't have the, the uh, carpet shampooer out here, you know, to soak it all up. I just want to see what it would do by itself. Oof. On the screen? No? About now. I know it's right there, right there. Can't see it on the screen, though? Oh, no, I can. I can see that one up at the top. This one? Yeah. This one over here, time to dry. And these stains have actually been in here for a while. I haven't ever got to them. <laughs> I took that right up. Like it was nothing. The stain came right out. Zero issue at all. Let's try this one out here. We're gonna do we're gonna let it dry but let's let's focus on this really quick right here 
Okay, can you guys see this right here? Can you see that? Yeah. It's like dirt. Not sure what that what that is. More than likely, it's pop tart. <laughs> yeah, probably from breakfast. Junior used to wait on the bus in here, so it's chocolate. Came right up, and that came right up. So as you can see, it got rid of these stains here, which were chocolate, still a little wet. Right here looks absolutely amazing, because look, here's where the seat looks like before. Now, I mean, it looks just brand new, and this stain right here in the middle is all gone also that I cleaned just a second ago. So this stuff works extremely well, even at 15 to one. All right, guys, so we're gonna try on this wheel, or this tire, I should say. We're gonna go with a 15 to one ratio on this half, and then we're gonna go with full strength, now remember, this thing, you can dilute this down to anything you really want to, all the way up to 32 to 1. So that's why I decided to go 15 to 1 just to see, but I think full strength is probably going to be the absolute best option for tires. But let me show you. These are brand new tires, but as you can see, there's a lot of bluing on the white walls, and it, they, it is a lot of browning, because brand new tires have a lot of browning to them. So we want to see what this stuff's going to do. 15 to 1 here and over. Okay, and then full strength. You notice, oh man, you can see the brown coming off the tire immediately with full strength. Show you guys. See the browning coming off the tire immediately at full strength? This is the side that's obviously 15 to one. But you can see where the full strength is actually starting to come down into the 15 to 1. But like I said, we're just going to brush it around here in just a second. Don't want it to dry on the tire, but if it does, it, extra, um, extra Tough says that if it dries on paint or anything like that, when you get it wet, it'll reactivate it. So it's not going to hurt if it dries on paint or anything, which is actually pretty cool. Get my brush wet. I'm going to spray a little bit more over here so it doesn't dry. This is just a carpet brush. Trying to not get into the, uh, the full strength side. We can try to make this as fair as possible. Okay, I'm gonna rinse the brush out. Go the full strength side. I need to add a little bit more because it was starting to dry. I don't think it's going to take that orange dot off. Man, what do they use to put those dots on? <laughs> okay, now we're gonna rinse it off. See what it looks like. And I'm gonna blow dry it once I'm done doing that so we don't have to wait for it to dry. Not using a pressure washer, that way. Looks the white, look at the white walls though. That way uh, nobody thinks that the pressure washer is doing all the work. What's cool about this product is you can actually use it to strip waxes and sealants off paint if you want to. Not coatings, it even says not ceramic coatings, but. Okay, I'm gonna dry it, probably put you in time lapse. Okay. 
Okay, so here's the 15 to one side. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of brine. Not a lot. It did actually a really good job at 15 to one, which is pretty amazing. That's a lot of water and hardly any product. The white walls look fantastic. As you can see, a lot of this browning still all the way around. There's some browning out here on the outer tread. A lot of times, it's not the cleaner, it's me with the brush, but. And then here is the full strength side. Look how nice this looks. It looks really nice. You see there's no browning on the inside of the tread like there was on the other side. There's a little bit right here, but that's not bad. This cleans way better than a lot of other tire cleaners I have used, as you can see. And it did a fantastic job on the white walls, which we wanted to get all the blue off, and it took all the blue off, no problem at all. The white walls look really good. Okay, so I went over this tire a second time with full strength. As you can see, the browning is now gone off the tread. Actually, it looks really good, the tire does. Because let me show you what it looked like basically before. So look at this one right here. All the browning. I mean, they all looked about exactly the same before. So, did an extremely good job. So today, my daughter spilt fingernail polish on the carpet. So what a better way to try to get it up than with the extra tough. And we're going to try 7-1 ratio first. And I will be using a drill brush and my Bissell Spot Clean Pro. I think it's what it's called. I don't remember the name of it, to be honest with you. But it's one that everybody uses. And a little microfiber towel. And then if the 7-1 does not work, we're going to hit it with some full strength. So let's see what happens. The ball is kind of low, I didn't want to fill it up again, but it's diluted 7 to 1. There we go. We're going to hit it with the drill. I don't want this to splash on you. Oof. Kind of tearing the carpet up just a little bit, the drill is. It was seven to one just again. It actually got most of it up. Okay, so as you can see, I'm really low. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go fill that up. That's a little stout for this Berber carpet. I guess I probably shouldn't have done that. But we'll let it work here for just a minute. And then we'll see if we suck it up here. Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, it got up most of it. I'm really wishing I wouldn't have used that brush now, though, on this Berber carpet, man. That really, really kind of messed that up. But all right, we're gonna go full strength, just because I can't brush it. See, this is a full bottle here. Now I'm gonna try to use just the very top bristles of this in a slow motion, slow as I can go. Just to kind of agitate it just a little bit. Nice thing about this stuff is it doesn't have a really potent smell. Man, you guys see that? <laughs> As you can tell, the size of the stain is way smaller, not nearly as noticeable now. With very, very minimal effort. We're gonna try it again though, full strength. I'm very impatient, so this time, we're gonna actually let it soak for a minute. Longer than I actually did. I'll probably put you in a time lapse. Okay, and just like that, the stain is up. It didn't take a lot of effort at all. You can see, you're in my light. Go ahead and move. It didn't take a lot of effort, but the problem is I did kind of mess the carpet up here a little bit with my drill brush, so I'm gonna have to go through, I'm gonna have to cut all that. But you'll notice there is actually red tint in this Berber carpet. The stain is gone, and that worked awesome to do that. All right, so we're gonna move on to the journey now. And we're gonna use seven to one. 
ratio and we're going to clean these wheel wells. I'm hoping you guys can see like that white. Yeah, that, all this right here is like uh, dirt and stuff. Kick up all through here. I'm going to clean it and then I'm going to dry it and we'll take a look at it before I clean these wheels. Get you guys back just a little bit. stream there we go love these sprayers too these sprayers are nice people are gonna ask what's it smell like it doesn't have a real potent or really strong smell that's all I can tell you it just smells like a cleaner if that makes sense okay I'm gonna let it dwell for just a second. Okay. Because I always, almost always use the greasers to clean wheel wells. The only time that I don't is if I'm using an all-in-one wheel and tire cleaner, I use it to clean wheel wells too. But if I'm not using an all-in-one, then I always use a degreaser of some sort. Spray it in there. I usually let it soak while I'm cleaning the wheels and stuff, but for this video, I don't want the wheels to get wet and end up spotty. I'm not pressing hard, I'm kind of just agitating. I'm gonna use a pressure washer to rinse it off with a 40 degree nozzle. My pressure washer puts out about, about a thousand, if that with a 40 degree nozzle on there. It is not high pressure by any means, a little electric karcher. Okay. Rinse her down. I'm gonna move you guys to, as you can see you got water, I don't want water soaking my tripod. Normally I don't dry the wheel wells, but for this video I needed to. Now look how clean, how nice and black this wheel well is now. I can't see my screen because it's bright out here, so hopefully you guys are picking it up. Remember how dirty it was before, and that was, that was easy. I mean, just let it dwell for a minute. Let it dwell for a minute. I'm sorry, my microphone's probably hitting. Let it dwell for a minute and then agitate. And all that nasty road grind is now gone. That was on there before. Sorry, like I said, I'm hitting my microphone. I mean, that works great on wheel wells too. I'm really happy. That, that looks really nice. Look at that, no dirt on my hands at all. So as you guys saw right there, um, this, this product works absolutely fantastic. Now I see why like Pan, my buddy loves this stuff. Uh, he talks about it all the time. It's on his channel all the time. My battery's about ready to run low. I gotta make this ending short as I possibly can. Um, but this extra tough is fantastic. And what I love about it is the dilution ratios that you can use. I, I made all four of those 32 ounce bottles and filled them all the way up. And this is how much I used out of that gallon, uh, about half. So you can make about eight, depending on how much you use, dilution ratio wise, because this one's full here, um, you can get a lot of bottles out of just one gallon of it. I like how the dilution ratios can go so high, 32 to one, 20 to one. I mean, they're really high up there just for your general cleaning. And then as you get down to tires, like I used full strength or you can use one to one. I could have went, I could have done all kinds of dilution ratios, but I kind of just went with what I thought what I would need. And then I can step it up if I have to. I can go, if I thought I needed five to one, I can step it up to full or seven to one. I can step it up to five to one or to full. And I love that I have those options at my disposal. It cleaned tires, it cleaned the wheel, clean the tires and the white letter in the tires really good. Clean the wheel wells, awesome. Clean the uh, back seat in April's Jeep from the stains and all the crap has back there because that's a car that I don't take care of. Um, the kids used to sit in that in the mornings waiting for the bus and eating breakfast and stuff and stuff like that happens when you have kids. 
Um, but the thing that surprised me the most was the nail polish because that was dried on nail polish that had been there all day. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to it till I got home. I didn't even know about it until I got home. Um, and it, it worked great. I ended up having to go full strength with it, but it took it up. And that's what was really amazing to me because I thought I was gonna have to get out like some type of uh, nail polish remover, paint thinner, something to get it up. Extra Tough did it, no problem at all, as you guys saw right there. And this video was made over several weeks, basically, when I needed to use Extra Tough on something, I got the camera out and I used it. I have used it on other things and didn't get the camera out because I like to see, I like to test products without the camera going sometimes, you guys. And I have not been let down yet by any of this Extra Tough at all right here behind me. So I wanna thank you, Georgia Meltex Industries, for sending this to me, Extra Tough for sending this to me for sponsoring the video. I really appreciate that. Otherwise, I probably never had a chance to use it. And I am extremely happy you sent it to me. I will be using this stuff all the time. It's gonna always be in my detailing arsenal and my mechanical arsenal if I have a chance to uh, here at the house. I'm not gonna be able to do it at work, but here at the house. So thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Join the Fab family. We'd love to have you. And we'll see you in the next video.